In this lesson, we'll discuss how we can apply geometric sequences and series to a real life problem. The question reads, suppose that you have agreed to work for Donald Trump on a particular job for 21 days. Mr. Trump gives you two choices of payment. You can be paid $100 for the first day and an additional $50 per day for each subsequent day, or you can choose to be paid one penny for the first day with your pay doubling each subsequent day. Which method of payment yields the most income? Remember, you are working for 21 days. So we'll set n equal to 21. We'll use that later. Let's analyze the payment methods. In payment method one, we go from 100 to 150 to 200 and so on. There's a common difference here of $50 per day. And when there is a common difference in a sequence of numbers, we call that an arithmetic progression. So this is an arithmetic sequence, and we can model arithmetic sequences like this, where we have a sub n is equal to the very first number in the sequence plus n minus 1 times the common difference, and in this case, 50. Substituting what we know, in that very first day it will be 100, plus n I'll replace with 21 minus 1 times 50. Let's see how much you will be getting on the 21st day had you chosen payment method 1. So we have 100 plus 21 minus 1 is 20 times 50. We end up with $1,100 on the 21st day. Not too bad. Of course from here you can find out how much money that is altogether. We can use this formula where the sum at the 21st day is equal to n bracket the very first payment of 100 so I'll write it down generally a1 plus a n divided by 2 and if I substitute everything that I know I'll continue writing here I get 21 bracket 100 plus 1100 divided by 2, and this is the amount that I would make if I choose that first method. I'll make 12,600 by the 21st day. What about payment method 2? It almost feels like a scam. You're being paid one penny in the first day, and then the next day that's doubled. Does that even come close? Well, let's find out. Let's begin with that very first number in the sequence. To go from 0.01 .01 to 0 0.02, we multiply this very first term by a factor of 2. To go from 0 0.02 to 0 0.04, again you multiply by a factor of 2. If there is a common ratio in the sequence, a common constant that you multiply the previous term to get the subsequent term, then it's a geometric sequence. And this is what we have here. Again, multiplying 0 0.04 times 2 gives us 0 0.08. So the common ratio, which I'll represent by the letter R, is 2. And the very first number in the sequence is 0 0.01. Because this is a geometric sequence, we can model it using the geometric sequence general term formula, which looks like this. A n is equal to a1 times r raised to the power of n minus 1. Rather than finding out how much was made on the 21st day, I'm just going to go ahead and find out the sum, which can be found using this variant of the formula. s sub n is equal to a sub 1 bracket 1 minus r raised to the power of n over 1 minus r. Let's substitute what we know. That very first observation was 0 0.01 bracket 1 minus our common ratio of 2 raised to the power of 21 over 1 minus 2. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. 0 0.01 bracket, well let's just put this in our calculator. 0 0.01 bracket 1 minus 2 raised to the power of 21 divided by negative 1, and we end up with 
20,971.51. So you decide, do you want to start working for one penny a day and it doubles every day? Or do you want to use payment method one and only end up with 12,600? That's the answer to question number one. If you'd like to see the answer to question number two, by all means, leave us a comment below. We've already written out the solution for this example. So if you leave us a comment below, we'll gladly upload the video and we hope to hear from you soon.